Well, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this channel, the Farm Chief YouTube channel. As usual, my name is Dipatoka Telega, the Farm Chief here at the Farm Chief College. <laughs> I told you 2023, 20, 2024 and other years coming, I don't want to hear anybody saying that I'm making losses in farming because I'm giving you a variety on what, how and when to do farming about it. So today I want to talk about, uh, speak with those who are yearning into a watermelon farming. Do you know the varieties? Eh? Do you know the procedures? Do you know the process? Eh? Do you know where to get the good seeds from? You know? So um with the director, I want to uh to to, to 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 speak together. We want to share with you the knowledge. Remember, I've been talking to you all along alone. So I decided to say that I should look uh, for other professionals uh who have professionalism in what they are doing, basically in the seeds. To speak with you, my fellow farmers, my fellow viewers, here at the Farm Chief YouTube channel. Welcome once again, the director, Faith Agro Inputs Limited, uh, Mr. Ambrose, here at the Farm Chief YouTube channel. Say hi to our viewers. Well, thank you very much, our dear viewers. Uh, Hard Ambrose from Faith Agro Inputs. Faith Agro Inputs, we basically engage in uh, research and development on hybrid seed. Now today we are showcasing our latest new varieties of watermelon on the market. And to, to us we believe this is going to be the answer to so many farmers who have been complaining about uh, growing melon, the melon becomes bushy, there are no fruits. This is, the, with this variety it's called Yash F1. Yash, Yash F1. F1 is a unique variety that has hid to the call of farmers who are tired of making losses. Because remember, Mr. Katerega, there is nowhere in the market that the market welcomes the watermelon leaves. All market stalls need fruits. Mm. And this is a variety that will give you plenty of fruits that will be able to move to, to cater for all market segments. And the reason why we are yeah, emphasizing on this variety, number one, is the size. Mm. Very big size. Of seeing the size is big. Between uh, 14, 12 kilograms per foot. Then uh, number two is very sweet taste. Mm? Yash. Sweet taste. Yash. Then number three, it has uh, relatively bigger outer cover that that not only guarantees the growers of the better shelf life but also the long transportation remember as i said earlier we've always said that in uganda most of the farming is conducted in areas that are impassable areas that the road network is so poor so we wanted we hit to that call of coming up with a variety that is going to guarantee the trader. Yeah? Somebody who has gone and bought melon in the bush, mm. he is guaranteed that he is going to reach the market with the intact quality. There has been cases whereby as the truck is shaking, the, the fruits burst. With yash, that one is out. You mean if you grown yash, yes. no bursting of fruit? No bursting of fruits. Even if, and you see, uh, when we, when you see here, yeah, it is very vegetative. But don't be cheated. There is plenty of fruits under, under underneath here. Yeah, but sure, I can see. see. Yeah. Cause they are here. You see, they are covered with the leaves. Eh? Hmm. Mm. Mm. 
mm. close to 56. So 56, in other words, in this demonstration garden, which means we have close to around seven, seven fruits per what? Per plant. Per plant. And it's a very good uh, venture for our growers. Imagine if you are doing in an acre and you planted 4,000 uh, uh, plants. Now, 4,000 plants times, let's say, seven fruits per plant. And when you are costing, yeah, when you are costing, as a farmer, you cost at 2,000. So, which means you'll get simple uh, 7,000 times 2,000, that is 14,000. Mm. 14,000 times 4,000 is over 40 million. And what is the input you are looking at? How, if you want to establish one acre of watermelon, it's less than 1.5 million Uganda shillings. 1.5? Yes. That is the capital. That is, that is seed, fertilizers, and chemicals. Plus, plus labor. labor. And you, you est you, you, your output is around... Ambrose, do you mean that uh, each fruit we shall get from this yash uh, watermelon garden will be at that cost, the same cost? You see... As a farmer, as a farmer, you have to come up with a selling price. Fa selling price, we look at the farm gate. Let's say when somebody is walking in through that gate. Mm. Yeah? For us, we've calculated each fruit, even if it's 14 kilos, we are calculating it at 2,000. Even if it is small, even if it's big, yes, same price. 2,000. Oh. Now, it's upon the, 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 the trader now to categorize but if you also some some farmers have stores in the market yeah? and that is how now money starts coming in let's say out of the four thousand you are going to have like four thousand one thousand each 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 plant will give you one thousand of let's say ten kilos and above mm. now with one thousand ten kilos in the marketplace it attracts between ten thousand twelve thousand yeah? Now, if, as a grower, even cost you, because you have a store, of course, now you'll add in the transport to the market, you'll add in the road tolls, you'll add the market dues. So, you add that around, you cost it around 5,000. Now, if it is 5,000 yeah, shillings and you have 1,000 fruits. 1,000 fruits, 5,000 shillings, that is a lot of money. That is close to 5 million. What is the spacing? Spacing? We do one meter by two meters, or three by six feet. One, uh, two seeds per hole. Why do we do two seeds per hole? So that we, we, we are able to get a pool of vegetation, number one, to cover, to, to, to protect our young uh, fruits from being scorched by sun. And number two, to provide a, a platform, or a soft uh, mat, for this fruit to rest on. I've had so many farmers complaining about mulching, mulching. We've, we are bringing you a variety that does not need mulching. Because I'm seeing because... The, uh, not even mulched. Ambrose, yes. is it because it is uh, a sunny season? Because at times when you look, uh, do you think this uh, yash, a watermelon fruit, will be safe during rainy season? Very much When safe. it is not in fact, with the mulched. Rainy season, even the size will be bigger than this. Yeah, would be bigger than this. I don't know. I, I think you are worried about uh, not mulching and that kind of stuff. Remember, this particular variety, and it is, it is our role as faith agro inputs. Number one, we begin what does the market, we resolve the question what does the market want? The market wants a zebra type of long uh, celadet melon, yeah? mm. big size, very sweet taste, and tiny tiny and a few seeds inside because i don't think we've had cases whereby somebody buys a watermelon you find a seed big like this mm -hmm. yeah? they're so small it is an Though, uh, it, it is a, it is very rich in zinc yeah which me and you need the the seeds yes the seeds are rich in zinc yes but it's a turn off uh, uh, at the table so we did a lot of research and then came up with yash, very few seeds, yeah? big size, very sweet taste, 
and then the outer the outer skin is a bit thick to protect it during transportation mm. i've heard so many uh, uh, naysayers saying that hey, that one has a big sea so you have uh, you don't have enough space to enjoy my br- my friend that is not true mm. yeah? that is not true this this thing is bred and designed to give our dear testers a maximum satisfaction in terms of the sweet taste yeah? the, the, the thick skin is to, to it, it is it is a, it is a mechanism to ensure that this fruit reaches the market and one thing for our dear traders yeah, our dear traders brokers who buy from farms and take supply to the market they need something that they can redeem their money back mm. so that thick skin guarantees traders at least three weeks on the on the shelf so that, what does that mean you load your watermelon reach somewhere your truck breaks down one week on the road but you still reach the market when it is fresh is fresh as if it has come from the garden mm. so with the ash it is a new game changer for our dear watermelon farmers who are on the verge of giving up from watermelon i think this is the time we should say bye bye to losses in watermelon growing very good uh, leaf cover tolerant to diseases i wish you moved around you see how watermelon has been attacked but when you look at the yash when you look at yash hmm. it is very much intact very glossy beautiful i wish you had, i wish it was mature because now when you look at it it's not even hmm. like two weeks to harvest so it will be wasting when we cut some of the fruit so but Next time we shall come when, and then we cut and demonstrate the arrangement of the seeds, the, the color inside, and even the sweet taste. We shall have the refractometer for measuring the sugar content mm. to ascertain to our farmers because this watermelon, you, when you are making watermelon juice, you don't need to add sugar. Sure. You just put in a blender, blend it, sieve, and you are ready to go. Where would you get this? We're very rich in uh, fructose that is uh, ideal for people who are diabetic. Uh, hope you. Remember our zinc in melon for us men. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's very ideal. There are four <laughs> I am uh, why, 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 why are you specifically saying for us men? It's very important. Yeah? You know, you know, you carry uh, your generations to come. Uh, yeah? <laughs> Just like this watermelon, hmm? it has seeds. Seeds are the hairs, yeah? are the kids that come up with another generation to come. Now, when I talk of seed, that seed is not meant for plant for for planting. Hmm. It is meant for eating. It's meant for blending for, in juice. For so a person, you have that cocktail of nutrition, cocktails of nutrients. Hmm? So all this has been uh, uh, well uh, researched and designed to produce, you know, to give our eaters the ultimate taste out of the what? Watermelon plant. Therefore, I call upon all our farmers who are fed up in watermelon growing, approach us, we shall teach you how these things are, uh, how these things are done. Mm. And uh, without forgetting, normally it is the normal uh, nutrition, pest control, and then the right seed. Today, as we are speaking... There is certain thing I want you to remind about uh, uh, our viewers. We said our objectives from a peasantry to... Hope you're getting that. Peasantry... To money, to money economy. To make money. I've just done a simple calculation that I saw it was ca- causing you goose pimples. Probably you might leave the camera. And, but truth be told, yeah, this fruit in an acre we put 4,000 plants. 4,000 plants? Yes. This? Yash. Yash. Mm. Now, 4,000 plants, even if we are getting two fruits, yeah, two fruits per, per plant, per plant. Yeah, and each fruit we are selling at 2,000. That is eight million shillings. But no, come again, come again, come again, come again. If we are, we are planting four thousand plants in, an, in acre. an acre. Yes. 
Each each plant is giving us two fruits. Only two, yes. which two. is impossible. Which is now here we've demonstrated we have over seven fruits, right? Mm. But now we have cut off. You know when you go into production, you produce your best and put a cut off. Yeah? Mm. Now here we are putting. Let's say to, for those doubters, doubting Thomases, we are saying we are giving you what four uh, four thousand plants and two fruits each plant those are eight thousand fruits. fruits now out of eight thousand fruits each fruit we are giving at a throwaway price of two thousand uganda shares. that's when those blockers they come at your garden those you are not the one to enter in the as a farmer i want to assure you if you want to make quick money right from today yeah plant yash because yash is a variety that will give you will change your title yeah when you say hello you say yes sir i have yash your title changes to muzei how many <laughs> trucks can you do what yeah? <laughs> can we come with yes how many trucks can you raise because he, number one he already knows yeah, the quality of the variety mm. that is number one number two he envisages the amount of fruits he's going to see then then number three he also starts now it activates his marketing uh, enzymes to start now looking for uh, contacting his uh, his uh, his customers hmm. say i have this can you prepare for this amount of money but remember remember one thing in farming we we we, we le let's endeavor to do things right as i said i said from earlier platforms the key word you know for those ones who did mathematics for those of us who did who enjoyed mathematics mm. is what is called body mass and now in science of farming we call eh, a disease triangle mm. a disease triangle one side there is a capathogen here pathogen in a simple p4, p4, p4 science is a is a disease causing organism disease causing organism it's not a disease but mm. it's a disease causing, causing organism. organism on the other side is an alternate host if this probably this pest enters your garden where does it seek refuge where does it shelter it shelters in the weeds so you must ensure that your crop is weed free mm. because weeds and insects they are buddies they survive in the bush mm. so whenever they come ah this one knows let me first shelter here and then try to test this one. How does it test? Can mm. I move to this one? And now when it moves, because it has been established, grown, well fed, it is soft, nutritious, then? Then, that's a, a question comes in there. Yes. Uh, we already see pruning, we do pruning, we do pruning. Due to the fact that these insects and those these danger, dangerous insects that affect our fruits. With the ash, we don't need to prune. You see, this is a new variety. Yeah? the first of its kind on African soil. And you see, as Faith Agro Inputs, our objective is to, is to simplify the farming experience. How do we simplify the farming experience? But looking at varieties that are pro-market. Yeah, you grow a, market, a variety that the market can appreciate. That is number one. Number two, when it comes to disease, uh, disease package, yeah, we ensure that we suppress the disease incidences right from the seed makeup. Then number three, we go ahead and give you a full package of nutrition and the pest control. Pest control, we have what is called IPM. When you look at the boundaries, yeah, mm. we have fly traps. I can see. And there has been a tendency of farmers planting traps in, the, in their garden. That is wrong. Because remember, those traps, they lure the insects wherever they are. So a farmer is safe when he puts those, uh, those traps outside his garden mm. to ensure that, number one, they, they remove the insects that have entered the garden, and number two, they stop those insects that have wish to, to enter. enter the garden. So they are uh, barricaded on the boundary. They are trapped they on are the trapped boundary. Outside. Then number three, spraying. Spraying watermelon, if you want to have, remember, watermelon is something that must be pollinated by the bees. Mm. And remember, bees are susceptible to the chemicals that we normally spray. Therefore, spraying must be done late in the evening. Because right now, any bee that appears here, 
that is a stray bee deserves to die. And more so, most of the fruit flies, they normally hover around this period of time. During the day, they are busy in the bushes hiding. Now when the, in the temperature cools, cools down, down, they come out now to produce, to hatch the eggs, to mate, all that kind of stuff. That's how they encounter with our traps mm. and the boundaries of our garden. And then that is the time we now inject in the poison to kill them wherever they are. Then back to our disease triangle, I said, number one, ensure that your garden is weed free to reduce on the alternate hosts. Hmm. Number three, it is the uh, uh, conducive environment. Now, how does conducive environment affect our watermelon garden? I said, and I've said times without, times without numbers, that never enter your garden when your leaves are wet. Either very early be it tomatoes, be, be it tomatoes, cabbages, be it, cabbage, be it, be it onion, be it watermelon. Be it sweet green pepper. That means no. you have to, 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 to enter in our gardens during uh, that is like why I always, noon. I always encourage farmers to buy such like caps. This one protect you from what? Sunshine. From sunshine. You will work, but now if you have a bald head like mine, eh. you, protect, yeah? <laughs> you, you protect the center of knowledge. Yeah? Eh. Yeah, you protect it like this from scorching sun. Okay. Yeah? So farmers out there. This is also one of the protective gears because our mandate is to fight the pests. And then we cannot fight the pests at the same time compromise yeah, on our what? On our crops. Remember, when you err in any of those precautions, when you err in any of those precautions, the pathogen, pathogen will become what? A disease. And once a disease comes, yeah? Even the chemical for treating it changes. And in most cases, most of the curative chemicals are damn expensive. And it happens at a time when you need a lot of uh, liters to mix. I remember today, we are training our farmers how to enter money economy. Mm. What is, others, what they call smart farming. Smart farming, you cannot do it when you are careless. I know. Yeah? So, as Faith Agro inputs, We've, we've given you everything. Okay. Yeah? Thank you. So. This triangle, mm. which I think you will never find it anywhere in the books. Yeah? But, but you know it practically. Mm. Who have practiced and then done enough research and come up with the slogans. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Just like mathematicians came up with the body mass. Now for us scientists will come up with what? Tri it's it's triangle. triangle. And when you look at it, is you find ways on suppressing this pathogen so that it does not become what a disease as no. i said you start working in your garden when the leaves are wet remember how often do you wash your gambits how often do you wash your upper overalls that you normally put on while working assuming you've been harvesting tomatoes in the neighborhood or you've been harvesting watermelon in the neighborhood you come your leaves are wet you've not washed your hands you enter your garden immediately all the leaves burn down i know so you start uh, struggling so please dear farmers Remember that key thing. For those ones who are going to watch this video, please, you can watch and watch it again. But above all, as I said, this is just a, pl a platform for us for us to begin engaging. Mm. You can find me on WhatsApp. Yeah. On plus two five plus six two five six seven five one seven five one nine three nine three eight four eight four eight nine eight nine. Thank you very much. Let's meet at Faith Agro Inputs to ensure that you comfortably bounce into the money economy without any hindrance, without any ado. Ah, thank you so much, Mr. Ambrose, the director, the farm chief, YouTube channel here. My name is Dipatoka Telega, the farm chief. Thank you for watching. Hope you've gained, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you've gained. We are here to give you whatever you need as far as farming is concerned. We have told you that we want to change this world. We want to change farming from peasantry to money economy. And we're inspiring the next generation to farming, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. I wish you the best.
best for those who have been watching and those who will watch and rewatch and rewatch and watch. Hope you'll be uh, getting whatever you need. Just subscribe if you've not yet subscribed. Um, if you've not, you've not yet subscribed, and click on that notification bell for the better of your farming skills. Thank you so much. Until then, how are you?